Hi, this is Craig Stocks here for Utah Desert Remote Observatories. You can find us online at utahdesertremote.com. This is just a quick video to show you how to get sparkling stars. I know I like my stars to sparkle and you probably do too. So let's take a look at a quick easy way to accomplish that. So let me get rid of this. And this is what you would typically see coming out of PixInsight when you do star removal with something like uh, Star Exterminator. You have a layer of stars and you have a layer of the background. In the usual process is with you, the star layer on top. If you removed those stars using the unscreen process, which you typically would, you put them back by changing the layer blending mode from normal to screen. And that's what the stars look like when you put them back in. But they don't really have enough sparkle. I like to have a little bit more sparkle. And there's actually a couple different ways you can put the stars in. Um, screen is one way and that kind of restores the stars the way they were taken out. Um, but they were probably taken out before all of the final stretching and color correction and so forth. The other easy way to do it instead of screen mode is to use lighten blending mode. And the difference is lighten is somewhat less aggressive. Uh, it lets the stars lighten what's below but it doesn't actually add to it everywhere. One of the drawbacks of lighten is that where you have stars over bright areas they tend to get washed out and, and wind up being invisible. But the benefit is overall the stars are a little smaller and tighter. And what I find is there are some stars that look better with screen mode and some stars that look better with lighten. In general, I like big stars with screen blending mode and I like the smaller stars with lighten blending mode. And anywhere we have bright nebulas, we generally need to use screen blending mode. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of this star layer that's currently in lighten blending mode. And the easy way to do that is just control J to duplicate a layer and we're going to change it from lighten blending mode to screen blending mode. And now we have nice bright bold stars and the stars are more visible over the galaxy here, but the small stars start to become a little too bright. So the trick we're going to use, what we want to do is use a layer mask and let this screen blending mode affect just the bright stars so that they stand out and also the stars over the bright galaxy. There's two ways to approach it. Uh, I'll show you the kind of the direct way first, and that would be to add a layer mask that hides all. Two ways you can approach that. You can go to layer, layer mask, hide all, and that will add a layer mask that's black everywhere so it hides everything on this layer. The more direct way to do that is the little icon at the bottom that looks like a front loading washer. It's a rectangle with a circle that will add a layer mask and if you hold the alternate key on Windows or Alt option on a Mac when you press that it will add a hide all mask so that's the easy way to add a hiding all mask and now all we have to do is grab our brush tool which we can get to by tapping the B key we want 100% opacity and 100% flow and we want since this is black we want to reveal some of these bright stars so we'll just tap X to swap the foreground and background color so that we have white as our foreground color. Now I just go around to the stars that I think should be bright and click once to paint a big white spot over it and those stars start to stand out. And you can just do this by eye. You can pick out the stars that you think you want to be a little bit more dominant in the image and click on them. Typically over a bright area like the galaxy, we might make the brush bigger with the uh, left and right bracket keys and paint over here to bring out those brighter stars. Now we have a situation where the stars that are, are brighter are even, even more bright. And just you know, pick out the ones here and there that you want to stand out. Um, I'm trying to find kind of a balance between the the ones below and above and that gives you much more of an appearance of stars that are sparkling. Now a second way to approach this that uh, is 
less intuitive, but sometimes it's faster. Sometimes it's faster to, to paint the opposite of what you want and then invert the mask. So to do that, let's just throw away this mask. So I'll just delete the layer mask. And we'll start over. We'll add a layer mask. And this time, we're just going to add a, a white layer mask. And I can see the stars that are already pretty bright. And what I want to do is switch to black as my foreground color, still 100% opacity. And what I'm going to do is just paint black over any star that I want to be bright. And it's I find it a little bit easier to, to see the stars that are already bright and darken those. And we'll do the same thing over the nebula because we know we're going to want those stars to stand out a little bit more. And then once you have gone through and selected all the stars that you want to stand out, this mask is now just backwards from what we want. So if we invert the mask, everything that's hidden will become revealed and vice versa. And the easy way to do that is to invert a mask with Control I. And since this is a pixel bearing layer, we need to make sure we're on, we've selected the mask and not the layer itself. And you can tell that by the little double outline around the thumbnail. So make sure that the mask is what's selected. Tap Control I. And just like that, we have sparkling stars. I hope you found this useful. It's a uh, really neat little trick for minimizing the stars and then bringing back the ones that you really want to stand out. Hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. And as always, I hope you have a uh, great day today and an even better night tonight under a clear, dark sky. Thanks.